In this video, we are going to discuss about the loops or iterational statements. As these are the statements which will ensure the continuous execution of a particular block of code unless and until a particular given condition is returning you a true. A very common example in real life of loops is you walking as whenever you walk you do the stepping continuously unless and until a particular condition is true like if you are going through a destination unless you reach you will keep walking and as soon as the condition is false means you reach your destination you will stop walking similarly the same thing happens with the loops also we will be writing a loop to achieve something so for that for, to achieve something we will write a condition and unless a, until the condition is returning you a true it will keep on executing if you want to handle it in a, another way we have that option also we have the break and continue keyword which will which can control the execution of loops if required so again we are going to implement the implementation of uh, loops from the very scratch so let's see how to get start with the iteration statements or loops so in this implementation of while loop we are doing the almost similar thing which we have done in the previous program but here rather than doing it for a single employee I'm searching for a number of employees and will finding the uh, grades for each this is not a very appropriate implementation of while loop because inside this while loop I'm putting this query so every time this loop will execute this query will also execute and we will have to make multiple requests with the database server which is obviously not a very good idea so in our coming videos we'll implement cursors and then we will see that how can we traverse through multiple records at a time but without implementing cursor it is just a sample for showing you how this loop actually behaves and what is the syntax for that so here what I have done like the previous program name salary and grade variable are there and uh, apart from that one more variable is there for ID so I initialize the ID with 101 and I want to take it from 101 employee ID to 110 means from 101 and 100 to 110 these 10 records I want to search so inside this while keyword what I have done I have just passed this condition like I want this loop to implement to execute unless and until the value of ID is lesser or equal to 110 and after this begin and end everything is as similar like first of all I am finding the name and salary of each employee from TBL employee and where EMP ID is equal to ID means I have used this variable for making this condition if the salary is greater than 50,000 I set the grade to A if it is not I'll check whether it's greater than or equal to 35,000 if it is I'll set the grade B or else I'll set the grade to C and then after right after that I will print this statement and once we are done since we started the loop from 101 that is 101 and I want to take it till 110 so obviously I'll have to make some increment so here I have just made an increment by 1 in the variable ID so that from 101 it will be 102 103 and so on till 110 so every time this increment will happen you see the loop is ended means this is the end for this begin of while loop all right so right after this set this loop is over and the control will come again in this particular line where this condition will be checked and these all statements will keep on executing unless and until this condition is returning a true and as soon as it is over will terminate the program so let's execute this now and see how it is looking like so here you can see let me again increase the font size so you can see there are 10 records from employee ID 101 to 110 so this is how you can start implementing the loops